about this uh, exciting race. Ryan, it's the 13th year for the Heritage Jokes Bank Family Fund Day and Fun Run in the downtown streets of Paso Robles. We have eight different events from the 10K, which is a Central Coast Classic 10K Championship, and we have a $2,000 uh, prize purse that goes with that. Linda Summer Smith has won it, I think, just about every year, but she comes <laughs> back, and the thing is, here's the same trophy again. We keep getting new trophies, but they kind of look the same because her name's on every one of them. So she's coming back to uh, try for a three-peat and just a phenomenal runner and just means so much to the local running community. And then we have uh, a 5K, which is Beat KK in the 5K, which is Kevin Kennedy, who is the owner of Kennedy Club Fitness. Yes, there is a plug. And <laughs> if you can beat him, you know, you all go into a drawing for a free a one-year membership at Kennedy Club Fitness. And then we have all these kids' races from the half mile to the one mile to the 75 yards kids' dash. There's a diaper dash, and there's all sorts of things. And everyone who comes and participates gets an opportunity to win trips to Hawaii. Just little things like that. Wow. It's there, a lot of cool stuff. Sign yeah. me up for this yeah, thing. Yeah, I want exactly. a trip to Hawaii. You just come participate, and you have a chance to say aloha. And uh, so far, in uh, the previous 12 years, we've raised over $350,000 for local nonprofits. And every year, we have four different nonprofits. And this year, the four nonprofits, where 100% of all race entry proceeds go. So, for example, if you sign up for the 10K and that costs $30, then you mark which one of the four nonprofits where you want 100% of your money to go. And so, if you sign up for 30 and you want to say, hey, I wanted to go to the Pass Robles Library Foundation, 100% of that money is earmarked that way. So, for the four nonprofits, the Pass Robles Public Library, the Pass Robles Loaves and Fishes, Community Action Partnerships of San Luis Obispo County. Am I talking too fast? No. And the People Self-Help Housing of San Luis Obispo Bispo County. Those are the four nonprofits for this year. And so it's a big fundraising event for those four nonprofits. So come out if uh, you're connected to one of those. Please come out and support. And if you're not, come out and support anyway and run and have a good time. That's a great, uh, wow, That's a, you guys are giving away a lot, and it's a charitable race as well. I mean, oh, we're a bank. It's all about money. I, that's, it's <laughs> nice that somebody in uh, today's economic times has some money still. Uh, that's fantastic, though. I've been to a lot of great local races, but you guys are giving away a prize purse, trip to Hawaii, and it's still you guys are still donating to a uh, great cause. How do people get involved? How do they sign up? And do you need volunteers? They call you. They call they me. They call you. <laughs> Just call Ryan. No, what we have is on our website, which is hobfunrun.com. So for Heritage Jokes Bank, hobfunrun.com. Uh, go on, and you can sign on uh, to sign up online all the way through the 22nd. Or you can come into any Heritage Jokes Bank branch and get an application, or you can download it off the website. So there's a lot of fun ways to get involved, and we have a few thousand people that come and participate. But the most rewarding part in all of this, Ryan, is that... It's almost therapeutic because it's all about family. We have one family in Atascadero. They have 11. They participate <laughs> in every event. And then yesterday we had one sign up from Australia. And they're bringing their child because we have the diaper dash, which anyone who goes into the diaper dash has a chance to win a washer and dryer from idlers. After all, it is the diaper dash. <laughs> and go. so their child that they're bringing along when they register their child, age is zero, four months old. So we have something for all ages. Because we have a mascot race, too, so anyone who enters the mascot race, you have to run 100 yards. doesn't matter what speed, but everyone goes in who enters has an opportunity to win this beautiful flat-screen TV. Just all sorts Man. of fun and games and prizes and the wow factor. That is a, a wow factor. What is uh, Kevin Kennedy? Yeah. What is his 5K typical time? What should we know? How do we beat that? Well, he is... Pretty fast for a young guy like myself, but but he gets into the spirit of all things. He really wants people to beat him, so he starts backing down his time. Okay. So just know that you can beat Kevin. That's the key. Right. Everyone gets an opportunity to beat Kevin Kennedy. Well, you tell Kennedy I'm gunning for him. Okay. Well. Coming after him. <laughs> Living the run is running him down. Sunday, September 25th, hobfunrun.com. Sign up. Win a trip to Hawaii. If you're fast like Linda Summer Smith, win two grand. Um, there's kids' races as well, and that's always great to see the kids out there getting and, and healthy. And the cool and thing, good. Ryan, is parents can run with their kids for no extra cost. This is more about participation than anything else. So there's many parents that run the 75 yard kids' dash with their kids or the half mile, whatever, but they don't have to pay for that. If your kid's in it, just jump in and run with them. And that's 
one of the, again, one of the most rewarding things about all this is the family environment, the interaction. There's a pancake breakfast. There's all these giant inflatables for kids to play on. So it's all about the environment and the atmosphere that really lets families have an opportunity to, to share and those family value times in a running atmosphere. That's what Living the Run is all about. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk to our five free minutes winner, Cody Hansen, about uh, attempting his first 100-mile race. He says he failed. I don't think so. He still got through 55 miles, but he had a heck of a time doing it. We'll talk to Cody on our one-year anniversary of Health and Fitness Radio. It's Living the Run on ESPN 1280, The Ticket. You're listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280, The Ticket. Running Warehouse is the fastest growing running store in the nation for all major brands of running products, including Asics, Brooks, Nike, Saucony, Mizuno, New Balance, and Adidas. Running Warehouse is focused on providing runners the best shopping experience available online, on the phone, or in our store. Running Warehouse offers top-notch customer service, an outstanding selection, an easy-to-use website, low everyday prices, plus free shipping and returns on deliveries made within the 48 contiguous states. Find out for yourself why Running Warehouse is the fastest-growing running store in the nation. Visit us online or stop by our retail store in San Luis Obispo on Suburban Road near Trader Joe's. Smart runners save cash at runningwarehouse.com. A preventable epidemic in the U.S. is killing our family, friends, neighbors, and children. Over two-thirds of American adults and 34% of kids are overweight or obese, which can lead to diabetes. The guy in the house called me. I'm going to get today for my cell phone. Did it? Did you hear all that? Rude comment. <laughs> uh, what was the question? Team Astrophina? Fifty-nine thirty is the exact time that the show is over at fifty-nine even at thirty-second half at the start. This clock it is six fifty-one exactly now. So you've got loan. Call Chris at four four zero four two eight eight or email him at chris at chrisorsini.com. That's O R S I N I. Reference Living the Run, and Chris will pay for your home appraisal at the close of escrow. Are you looking for a fun challenge this fall? Well, lace up your running shoes and start training because the 16th annual City to the Sea Half Marathon 5K race and Kids Fun Run takes place on October 9th. The half marathon course starts in lovely downtown San Luis Obispo and winds through scenic back roads ending in seaside Pismo Beach. The 5K and Kids Fun Run both start and end in Pismo Beach. For all the details and to register, see the official website, www.citytothesea.org. People enjoy and feel secure when they find a dependable service business, a service to rely on, a service they can trust, a service that's helpful and friendly. Businesses like these are few and far between these days. Most Central Coasters have relied on Paul's Dry Cleaners for outstanding service since 1952. Paul's knows that great service is what it's all about. They offer state-of-the-art dry cleaning as well as a full-service laundry. Paul's Dry Cleaners, 214 Higuera, across from Smart and Final, and next to Hayward Lumber. Paul's Dry Cleaners in San Luis Obispo. We're back with Living the Run. Here are your hosts, Ryan Ferran and Paul Tarek. Paul Tarek absent on our one-year anniversary of Living the Run. We wish him the best, and he's actually, I think, gone next week as well. But uh, we kind of miss him. We almost miss him. Darn you, Tarek. Check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash living the run. We're on Twitter as well. Our YouTube channel is up and running. You can watch recent videos of the radio show. How's that for you? 
All right, our five free minutes. I'm starting the clock right now. Let's bring in Cody Hanson, our winner from our Facebook competition. If you want to uh, <clears throat> check out how you can win five free minutes on Living the Run, check out our Facebook page and uh, check out the details there. You have to have an interesting story, a topic, or something worthwhile to promote. And Cody was uh, suggested that he talks about his 100-mile race attempt. Cody, welcome. How old are you, and where are you from, first of all? Hey, Ryan, I'm uh, 22. I'm um, from San Luis Obispo right now, originally from Auburn, California. So 22, and you're already trying a 100-mile race. Cody, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> I get a lot of peer pressure from uh, some <laughs> older friends who are much better runners than me. So tell us about your first experience towing up for a 100-mile race. Where was it, when was it, and kind of walk us through uh, how that went uh, for you. Well, uh, I seem to have some some local luck uh, being from Auburn. I uh, actually got into the lottery uh, Western States on my first try um, and was a little surprised, but went for it, started training, um, and the start was in Squaw Valley in June. It didn't really, uh, never really sunk in, um, even, even at the start line, you know, lining up next to some of the greatest runners, you know, out there in the ultra running world. Um, I just, I still couldn't really wrap my head around it. I don't know, I still don't think I can. Um, <laughs> it was pretty surreal, um, and it was an awesome experience. There was a lot of snow in the first 20 miles, uh, which I thought was the funnest part. Um, and I ended up just making some nutritional mistakes early on, and they built up until eventually I, time caught up to me. So. So tell us about when you first, uh, tell us, Cody, we really want to get to the misery of the situation here. <laughs> okay. Tell, right. uh, tell us about when you first started feeling not so good, why you weren't feeling so good, and kind of take us through that, uh, that process. Let's see. So, you know, everybody says that, that ultras are just an eating and drinking game with some running in between. Um, and my running was fine, and I, I failed at the drinking game. I was uh, actually so worried about hyponatremia, which is what they talk about so much, that I didn't drink uh, enough water uh, early on. I had a real good first 50K, felt really strong, um, but was down uh, four or five pounds at like 30 miles um, and got nauseous from there um, and pretty much spent the next 10 hours with nausea and a little bit of dry heaving and a little bit of real heaving and... <laughs> Um, <laughs> so mostly just stomach issues. It was frustrating because actually I, I didn't get a chance to run hard enough to, to test my legs out and the rest of my body. Mm -hmm. um, was mostly battling stomach issues. Um, so so a lot from it. So you puked. Uh, did you go blind? Did you cramp? Any other major injuries? And keep in mind we got two minutes left. Any anything okay. else that you went through? Let's see. Um, most of it was just, there was definitely some cramping, um, some good dry heaving, <laughs> and, and forced vomiting. Didn't want to come out, and I was trying to eat a popsicle at the time, which just seemed like the most tasty thing in the world, but I just couldn't get it down, which was really frustrating, and it fell off the stick into the dirt. <laughs> so that was just That is vomit. bad luck right there. No, I didn't, uh, I, I went 55 miles, which, you know, um, Seems far, but when you've already run a couple of 50s and you're expecting to go 100, it's not that far in in that situation. So, didn't get to go into the night um, and and attempt to go blind like Carnassus and all those guys. So, um, I hope in the future I can make it more around 70 or 80 and and go blind or um, you know get some more of that experience and then when then one day make it to the finish. So, um, got some years ahead. Um, I always just I like the the uh, philosophy of fail early and often, and you learn more that way. Um, <laughs> got a lot to learn, and just keep going. So, Cody, okay, we got about thirty seconds left. Don't All go, right. don't go blind or kill yourself doing your next ultra. Right, promise us that. And then, right. quickly, in the next fifteen seconds, what are some of the weird things you're eating out on these hundred mile races? You know, I really don't eat that much weird stuff. Um, Started this point there. I like goldfish. That's weird. Um, 
It's a good snack when you're sitting around. It's a good snack when you're running. <laughs> Nobody eats okay. except you ultra guys. Like we were talking to another ultra guy a couple weeks ago. He's drinking soda, Mountain Dew. I mean, a popsicle and goldfish running is pretty uh, crazy. Oh, yeah. Anyway, Cody, we appreciate awesome. you coming on, uh, winning our five free minutes. Give us the name of your blog for your free plug uh, before we let it's, you go. Uh, Loveandrunning.com. Loveandrunning.com. All right, Cody, don't kill yourself next race. We appreciate you coming on, and uh, thanks so much for living the run. Good luck with your future races. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. All right, that's Cody Anson. Dry heaving, forced vomiting, didn't go blind, uh, but a heck, heck of an attempt. He's only 22 years old. A lot of these ultra runners are uh, mid-30s, early 40s. All right, we only have about uh, a minute or so left. I want to thank all our sponsors, past and present, uh, who have helped us get to our one-year anniversary. Sierra Vista, Running Warehouse, Artie's Pilates, CrossFit Grover Beach, French Hospital, We Stream Fitness, Chris Orsini, Malahi Ford, Hyper Sports Drink, Natasha Noel Massage, Heal Slow. And again, thanks to Max Woodcock for doing a fantastic job producing uh, throughout most of this year. Thanks to Paul Tarek, who's been an amazing co-host for this time. Uh, it's been uh, truly fabulous working with these guys and living the run. It's great to be in a community where everyone appreciates health and fitness. And uh, living the run has welcomed us so much and our partner at Heal Slow. Thanks to everyone for living the run. Hopefully uh, we'll see you back here for you too. And live the run. Until next time. You've been listening to Living the Run on ESPN Radio 1280 The Ticket. Living the Run has been brought to you by Running Warehouse, CrossFit, Grover Beach, Artie's Pilates, and in partnership with the American Cancer Society and the Heal Slow Coalition.